Hey everybody, it's Dan, your friendly fishmonger at dansfish.com and today we have a tour for you. We're going to take you around and show you all the new fish that were just released for sale on the website. Lots of neat stuff to tell you about. Three kinds of rice fish, a couple cool cichlids, um, hill trouts which are amazing, and my favorite platy of all time. I know platies are a dime a dozen, but these are something special. Let's check these fish out. All right, here are the hill trouts. This is Barilius bakeri, I believe is how you say the scientific name, the blue spotted hill trout. I'm thrilled to have these. They look fantastic. They're eating well. There wasn't a weak fish in the batch. They came in just doing, doing great. Um, I would say they're around three to four inches. I mean, every now and then I look at the biggest one or two and I'm like, maybe that's five inches, but let's say three to four inches, give or take a bit is where they're at, and they're doing fantastic. They eat everything, these are not a picky fish. I think they're gonna be very easy to keep. Just keep the water clean, keep it well oxygenated, because they do come from flowing streams. Now, these are one that will rub its face on the bag a lot during shipment. In fact, you can see a few that are still recovering from shipment where they rub their face on the bag so much. So, it's going away, they're, they're eating well, they're perfectly healthy, but, um, be aware that if you buy these, sometimes they can rub their face on the bag. Usually that goes away within a couple of weeks after they settle in and de-stress and, and just heal up a bit. But that is something to be aware of with this fish. A super active fish, peaceful, but super active. All right, these are my favorite platy ever. These are the neon yellow calico platies. Why do I like them? Well, just look at them. <laughs> Basically, you have that nice contrast to that yellow and orange against that black calico, and that contrast is just really pretty. And then over it all is the neon color, or not color, and then over it all is the neon sheen, the neon jean, I suppose you'd call it, that just makes it all glow. So really nice color, really nice contrast with a glow. Like, they seriously glow from across the room. They're, they're a showstopper. They're one that when people come over, if they walk by your tank, they'll like do a double take and be like, what? What is that? So, neon yellow calico platies, my favorite ever, and they're doing fantastic. All right, here we have the Epistogramma agazizii. These are the double reds. They're small, around an inch, a little under, a little over, depending on the fish, but they're healthy. I don't think I've lost any. They're eating super well. Right now they're back there I don't know if you can see it back there, but they're working on a uh, they're working on a massive or pellet. That's what that kind of orange stuff on the ground is. I like to drop one of those in in the morning and just let them kind of work at it throughout throughout the morning, and then in the evening I'll come in and give them something else to eat. But that way they can keep food in front of them most of the day, and they can get good growth. And um, you know they kind of need that when they're small like this. I think it helps. So nice big group of them. They're small fish right now, but they're super healthy, so I think they'll do rather well for you. They're small enough that I can't sex them, so you can ask, but I'll say no, <laughs> just because I'm not confident at all at this size that it'll get you the right sex. However, they are starting to um, get a little red on them, so every now and then you'll see one with a bit of red on it, so they are getting some color. Well, this is my absolute favorite of the Madaka rice fish. This is the Miyuki White, and it sets itself apart from the standard Platinums and White Galaxies and stuff because they absolutely glow. The, Mi Mi <laughs> the Miyuki have this bright white stripe down the dorsal ridge. Um, that it's, it's, like a, it's like a neon tetra or a cardinal tetra, the way it catches the light and, and reflects it back that kind of nice neon glow, but it's bright white. So from across the room, these guys shine. From the top, they're absolutely stunning. They look good from the side, don't get me wrong. But from the top, in a pond situation, they, they absolutely glow. And I had a neat experience with these the other day. Um, I've read a lot of literature on the um, rice fish, and I've never been able to kind of figure out how they spawn. It's kind of in the literature, it's kind of a mystery, but the other day I came in shortly after the lights had come on and I caught some spawning and it was really interesting. They were mid-water and they were spawning just like killifish but not against any substrate. 
the male had clasped the female and they were quivering mid-water. So if you think of how a killifish spawns with that spawning embrace, same thing, just out in the open is how they were spawning. So that was really cool to see. Anyway, my favorite of the uh, Madaka rice fish, the Miyuki White. All right, here is the Geophagus brasiliensis, a nice earth eater, <laughs> tons of color. These guys are very adaptable. They live in lots of different habitats, so they, they can adapt to lots of different conditions. So generally, they're very hardy and do very well in aquariums. They'll sift your sand, help keep it clean. They're not very aggressive at all for a cichlid. I mean, they're still a cichlid, but as cichlids go, they're one of the least aggressive. And uh, yeah, just a nice geophagus. I think my favorite barb ever is the drape fin barb. I also like a really nice colored Odessa barb quite a bit. So these might not be my absolute favorite, but they're right up there. They're close to the top. These are the dwarf golden barb. Max size is about an inch and a half. Some of them only get to about an inch, depending on the sex and things like that. Um, the reason I like them is they have all the color and personality of a barb, but without the aggression and the uh, food aggressiveness either. So they're a very nice, peaceful, small community fish. They do great. They're not going to outcompete most fish in a group. There's neat behaviors and their colors pop out and they're more outgoing. If you only get a few, they're going to hide more. But in a group, they're out and about and looking good all the time. And again, really peaceful fish. So all those problems you have with tiger barbs and the like, you're not going to have with these as far as aggression goes. This batch is exquisite. I mean, they're, they're fat, they're healthy, they're eating well. The, no problems at all. Just rock solid from the get-go. So if you've wanted this fish, this might be a good chance to get a nice group because they're they're doing great. Okay, these are the Amapa Redback Angelfish. Right now I know they just look mostly like, you know, standard silver angelfish because they're young. They're still small. I would say the biggest one is about two inches and the smallest one is about an inch and a quarter. So that's, that's the size range. But as they grow up and mature, they're gonna get nice red up across the top section of the fish from, from around the eye up through the, the dorsal or up to the dorsal fin. So they're a really unique looking fish, one that a lot of people really like because of that red color. And they come from the Amapa region. Now there are three in here that have wonky ventral fins. Um, I don't know if that happened during shipping or during raising or what, but I'm aware of it. I won't be sending you those, so never fear. I'm aware of them. <laughs> but almost all of them in the batch look really, really good. So I'm happy to have these uh, Amapa Redback Angelfish. All right, here we have some Glow Light Danios or Show Prey Danios. Uh, generally one that everybody likes because they are just so pretty. A whole lot of color, a whole lot of glow, and a group of these together is happiness incarnate. <laughs> I really like them. They're one of those that you walk by the tank and you, you take a double take because they're just so pretty. Super easy. Um, if you think of like a regular old zebra danio, and there's a couple in there with them, it cares about the same. They're, they eat well, they're hearty, they're happy. Not a difficult fish and they have a lot of color. All right, here's another form of rice fish. These are Madaka, the uh, Yukaihai. I hope I'm saying that right. I've never actually heard it pronounced and I don't know Japanese. But Yukaihai, Yukihai, something like that. Um, anyway, they, they look a lot like the Lamei rice fish. They have a white to peach to orangish body, depending on the fish, depending on the light. And the difference between them and the Lamei is they have a nice clean body. So you might occasionally get a sparkle here or there, but in general, these have nice clean lines, a nice clean body. Um, yeah, so that's the difference. They're doing fantastic. They're eating like little pigs. They're healthy and happy and spawning, and I think they're gonna do great for you. So that's the Yukaihai rice fish. Okay, here we have the Blue Carry Emperor Tetra. 
These are small, I would say around half an inch, maybe a little bigger, maybe three quarters of an inch on the bigger ones. So they don't have a lot of the color yet, but they, they turn absolutely stunning when they grow out. They get nice blues and purples on them, really unique color scheme for the fish world. And I've always liked them a ton, so when I saw them on the list, I bought them. I did think that they would come in larger than this, especially considering their price, but this is what we got. They're healthy, they're happy, they're doing well, but they're on the small side. Here we have the orange LeMay rice fish. In person, I would say that they're more of a peach color or yellowish color. They're not like a bright, bright orange, but you can see why they call them that. They, there is some orange there. There's also several white ones in here, or a mix between the two, but they, they come from the orange bloodline, and what makes them LeMay are all those little, let's see if we can get it. I don't know if we can, but all those little glitter sparkles all over the body. I don't know if that's coming through. Um, these seem to be the favorite of my customers. I like the Miyuki Whites best, but my customers tend to prefer these. They, these sell the quickest. So if you want some LeMay rice fish, these will be the ones that we send you. And um, you're, you, what you see is what you get, so you know what, you, what to expect. I realize it's going to be hard to see these through this, uh, this glass. This is a very old aquarium. The glass is very scratched up. Um, these are Pseudomugil Ivanstafi, you know, often called blue eyes for obvious reasons. Their, their little blue eyes are, you know, they just glow. They're really, really pretty. But in addition to that, which you might not be able to see through this hazy glass, is the males actually develop quite a bit of color, yellows and reds and oranges. Um, these are small still. They're, they're just starting to get the color in, but they're doing great. They're healthy, they're fat, they're eating well, they're acting normal. So I think they'll do well for you. I just don't have a fix for filming through, through that scratched up glass. So there you have it. Those are the new fish. If you like this kind of content, if you wouldn't mind taking a moment to like, subscribe, share, hit the notification bell, all that jazz us YouTubers are always begging you to do, it would be most appreciated. And again, all these fish are available at dancefish.com if you saw anything you want. Anyway, until next time, I hope you have a good one. Thanks. Bye.